Hello Sagittarius and welcome to the tarot room. My name is Robin and Sajay today let's do a reading about the person on your mind shall we? Let's talk about this person Saj. Let's find out first of all what you want. We're going to find out what they want. We're going to see what you can expect from this person. Of course we're going to find out how they're feeling in the present moment. As always we'll get you our potential outcome. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what messages guides want to pass along today. So we have you deserve love. You are lovable. Damn Skippy. Damn Skippy. We have very soon. So clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. All right. Well, let's talk about this. Let's see what's going on, Sag. And Sag, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. If you want one, the link is in the description box below. So you want, oh, we have a lot of cards here. You want the Four of Wands. What they want is the Knight of Cups. Their feelings, no, they're telling me to put this with the Knight of Cups. Okay, it goes together. So strength and the Knight of Cups is what they want. What are their feelings for Sage? Could be dealing with the Leo or a water sign. Whoa, the Queen of Cups. They uh, have some deep feelings. The feelings run deep with this one, Sage. And what can you expect from this person here? Death. Holy shiznick. Well, we'll find out what that means, but death is also transformation, it's rebirth. Um, let's find out. That's their actions. Their overall vibe, theme, and energy is the star. They find you inspirational. Maybe you're a lot of fun. Maybe you motivate them. Make them want to be a better person, better man, better woman, better shika. Let's find out. Let's talk about it. The four of wands is what you want. <laughs> this is celebration. This is balance. This is happiness. This is the card of soulmates, twin flames, creating a good life together. I feel you want something stable with this person. You want a relationship. If you're already in a relationship, you want the balance. You want the relationship to continue if there's been some kind of strife. Let's find out. Holy shit. Yeah, you want to walk away. There's justice. There's temperance. You want to walk away from something. What is this? The sun, six of swords, and the queen of pentacles. So I do feel you want to walk away from instability. That's with the four of wands, and you're going right to the four of wands and justice. You want some, you want balance here. Um, so there's some kind of balance, some kind of something's happened, or maybe something hasn't happened, and you want something to happen here, Sag. But you want to walk away from instability. You want something stable. You want something long term. You want something with solid foundations that you and this person have built or will build together. Um, you want to walk away from instability and imbalances in your life and in this partnership. What they want is to offer you some love, the Knight of Cups and the strength. Um, they want to find the courage to tell you how they feel. They want to find the courage to take you out or to ask you out if you haven't actually progressed forward. What is this energy here? Oh, you, oh, what's this? What's this energy here? What do you want to say about that here? They want to romance you. Four of Cups. They feel you're out of reach. Whoa, what's up with your person? There's a Knight of Cups again. They think you're going to reject them. Hmm. 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 So whatever that situation is, whatever's happened, whether you're just dating this person, whether it's just a crush, or whether you're in a relationship and there's a rift, they think you're going to reject them. They think you're out of reach. They think you're too good for them, Saj. Uh, and that might have been why there's a pullback here. Um, they want to romance you. <laughs> they fantasize about you. But they're absolutely, this is Knight of Cups and the Five of Swords is rejection. They are afraid of being rejected here. Um, they're fear of losing out. They're fear of their ego being hurt. Their feelings getting hurt. They think you're out of their league. And they are scared you're going to reject them or you're too good for them. Or maybe they'll fall in love with you and you'll break your heart, you know. Uh, their, their fear of rejection here. That is what is stopping them. So they're trying to find what they want is the strength to romance you, to court you. Um, to fix this if there is a rift and there's already a relationship they're trying to find the courage and the strength to do that um, their feelings I we know this the queen of cups they have very deep feelings for you um, what else do you want to say about that they think you're empathetic compassion attractive they like the way you carry yourself like I said you inspire them and want to make them be kind of like a better person I do think they think you're out of their league you're too yeah there's a three of pentacles there's a little bit of jealousy here there's a four of swords and withdrawal um I do think that they think you're too good for them here, Saj. And um, whew, they're um, holding back. That much we see. Very, very. Uh, they're, they're not saying what they want to say. They're jealous. This is jealous. <laughs> this is jealousy. So they think that other people want you. Other people probably do want you. You're a Sagittarius. Other people are drawn to your energy, to your kindness, to your heart. But they know that. Um, and you, I think you have someone who might have some insecurities here, Saj. Um, they think you're too good for them. They are worried. They're jealous. Um... And they're afraid that you're going to break their heart. <laughs> you heartbreaker, you motherfucker. Okay. Death and is their uh, action. So is this an ending? Is this a transformation? Whoa, there's the King of Wands. What else we got here? You could be dealing with the felt another, uh, hold on. Earth, or, ugh, I was going to say Earth because I knew that, that King of Pentacles was there. 
Um, we have the King of Wands and we have the King of Pentacles. And we have Strength again. So they're holding... Oh, look at the passion here. <laughs> the Page of Cups. Okay. Um, they want to transform this. I do feel you're going to hear from this person. I don't think this is an ending. I think this is a transformation here. Um, the passion... They can't... See, the thing is, it's like they're afraid that you're going to break their heart, but they can't resist you. They can't stay away from you. They're so drawn to you. It's like magnet, boom, 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 pulling them right to you. Um, there's a strength again. They're, they're having a lot of courage here to hold back, but they want you bad. There's a lot of fantasizing here. I can tell you that much with the King of Wands and the strength. I felt that earlier energy too. Um, the King of Pentacles is them building something solid, still building this foundation, overcoming their fears to plant seeds in you. <laughs> they want your pentacle. Um, but the King of Wands could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be specifically a Leo. This person's coming to talk to you. They're going to be sweet. There's the Page of Cups, the romance, like the, the attraction, like you got, it's like, <laughs> like, you know, you got them tied around your finger. They will do anything for you. Um, and I think that that scares them. Um, and they're facing that fear though here. They're going to transmute that. I mean, it's better to have loved and lost and never loved at all. It's better to have some Asajj than never have any Asajj, right, baby? Um, and that's what they're realizing. That's what they're doing. They can't stay away from you. I do think that they think you're outside their league, but that's not going to stop them here. They want to court you. They want to woo you. <laughs> Those are old fashioned terms, but it is what it is. Um, they want some romantic evenings with you. And you can expect this person to come forward here, face those fears. Um, I think it's coming out of stagnancy, whatever that stagnancy is. You can expect this person to take you out or um, ask you out or express their feelings in some form or manner. If you're, you know, you're the one that's going to ask them out, whatever it is, um, they're going to initiate something here and you can expect that. So, Sad Jay, that's what I got. Let's grab some oracles. We'll see where you guys are in a month. We'll see how this progresses. We'll see how this goes. Because if there is a little bit of insecurity and jealousy there, is that a red flag? It's going to be an issue. Let's find out. Um, so, Spirit Guides, what does Sad Jay need to surrender to when it comes to this person? Talk to us. Your intuition. It is time to, sorry, tune in. I don't know why I said it's time. That was weird. But tune in to your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you, baby. You're in Sag. You're very intuitive, very in touch with the spiritual side of your... Oh, my date just went flying. But just be reminded, it is June 18th. Oh, yeah, it's Father's Day. I forgot to say that. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Happy Father's Day. Um, I guess that's why it happened, because I forgot to tell you that. So it is Father's Day today. <laughs> Happy Father's Day for all the fathers out there, all the papa bears. Um, let's get your care and connection. Love conquers all. Damn straight. It does, it does. And this person's starting to realize that, you know, the love will overcome those fears and those worries. They just got to trust. Um, what is the hidden truth? Sag, if this person could say something they're not saying, they want to say, they won't say, they can't say, they don't know if they should say, but your spirit guides want you to know. Well, what is it? I couldn't let you get close to me. Hmm. Well, that was a little bit of withdrawal. We already sensed that. We already sensed that. But... That's something that I see changing here. Let's find out. Let's grab the light seers. Let's get your potential outcome, Saj. Let's get your potential outcome. Spirit guides, talk to us. So, Saj, when I say potential, there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make, and so is this person. And when I say outcome, where are you in a month? How does this go? How does this is this received? Because I do feel some withdrawal here. I do feel some pullback. I do feel some insecurities from this person. Let's see how things go. Let's see how you feel about the situation. All right, we got four cups in reverse. We got the Knight of Pentacles. Can't see that one. We have the Five of Cups. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, we have the High Priestess in reverse. Ooh, what are these secrets? And the Six of Wands and the Star. They don't want to miss out on you. They know that this is a once in a lifetime opportunity with you, Sag. They know that you are a good catch. Five of Cups. Four cups in reverse, take an action, baby. The Knight of Pentacles is a slow mover. It tells me you're not rushing into anything, especially if you spot any insecurities or jealousy issues. You're going to take the time um, to really get to know this person, see what this is about, to make sure that there's solid foundations here. But that star is wish come true, dream fulfillment. You're exactly what they want, and that for some reason triggers some insecurities in them. <laughs> I mean, I understand, you know, it's scary when you're falling in love because that person can hurt you. Um, but there's a lot of attention. There's a lot of success. I just want to see what this high priestess in reverse is because this is secrets within yourself. This could be a block in your intuition or what is the high priestess in reverse here for Sajay? What is this? The emperor. Hmm. What is this? The magician. And the eight of pentacles. So, um, this is about being honest about who this person is. 
to the emperor. They're not going to change. Um, the emperor's husband or wife material. Let's make that very clear. But the emperor is also very stuck in their ways. So um, I think this has to do with that jealousy and insecurity. You have to, you have to, you know, a little bit of jealousy and insecurity is not a deal breaker, but a lot of it is. And it's about that balance. And it's really about you and your intuition. Trust your intuition when it comes to that. Because there's no relationship. There's no trust. If this person does not trust you, then it's not going to go anywhere. Um, and this is just about trusting your intuition and really paying attention and being honest with yourself about that. Like I said, like a little bit of jealousy isn't a little bit of insecurity is not bad. We all have it. It's just when it gets overbearing and it becomes problems, then, you know, that's a problem. <laughs> um, and so it's accepting this person for who they are. They're the emperor. They are husband and wife material, but they're also a little bit guarded. Um, and it's just about accepting that about this person. It is going to take time to know them. They're not just going to come on a date, tell you their whole fucking life story. It's going to be a trickle of this, a trickle of that, a trickle of this very slowly, but surely. But they want your attention. They want success. And you have a decision to make here. Um, so it's just about trusting your intuition, accepting them for who they are. You can't change them. Um, they are who they are. And is that what you want? <laughs> is that a deal breaker or is it just a flaw? And that's where you are in a month. But this person, you are everything they want, Saj. But I see you taking things slow, taking this progressively. Um, the withdrawals come to an end because they don't want to miss out on this opportunity with you. Like I said, they know you're the full package. They know this is once in a lifetime opportunity with you. And they're not going to let it pass them up. Um, so... That's what I got. Where's my yes or no? What's going on? They're back here. That's right. My table, my tarot table is getting clogged up. So I moved some cards behind me. <laughs> All right. So sad. So just what I got for you. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe, helps my channel to grow. Thank you, Saji. I appreciate the support. Thank you. Um, whoa, got those cards, but that's not the answer. So let's get the yes or no answer to your question. If the card comes upright, it's a yes. If the card comes in reverse, it's a no. Spirit guys, what's the answer for Saj? Sag, the card does not matter. It is the direction. That's how I read. Yes or no? The answer is yes. That's what I got for you, baby. Truly wish you the best of luck, Sag. Until next time.